Hello and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video with me, Mioni. Hatching Tide 2018 is upon us and this video serves as a reminder of both the rewards and what you can expect them to look like in-game. Little to no spoilers for the event now and I'm not going to read any of the text. Simply go to the amphitheater as usual in Old Gradania at X 10.2 Y 9.4 and talk to the NPC Nonota there. You will begin a quest line that involves tracking down a possible egg thief. Once you do the varied amount of running around required, you will eventually find yourself playing a brand new minigame added in this year's event, Egg Hunter Riggy. This is a surprising little addition in this event, your very own platforming game. The aim here for the quest is to secure at least 10 eggs. You can use your keyboard and mouse or controller to jump, double jump and move left or right on this 2D side scrolling platform game to collect eggs and avoid monsters, AoEs and various mechanics. Every hit you take reduces the number of eggs you have at the end. It's quite a quaint little mini game, can be quite difficult and once you complete the quest line you actually unlock it inside your toy box chest in in rooms or private housing if you have a toy box to play and see if you can get a high score. In addition to the mini game, the main reward from the event is a brand new minion, and this is the Motley Egg Minion. Summon your Motley Egg Minion, the tiny Archon inside is certain to kickstart your heart. As thanks for aiding Geely Aliapo in the retrieval of several stolen eggs, the original Egg Dreamer has gifted you with an expertly crafted automaton featuring Radcliffe the Red, famed first Archon of the Sixth Umbral Era. The hidden text reads, Personally, I've always had a thing for a motley, a quote of Cornell there. The minion will feed from your hand, roll around like an egg following you everywhere you go, judder a lot as an idle animation, and crack open to reveal the jester inside if you poke it. In addition to the minion, you can also buy from a nearby event vendor at the amphitheater in Old Gridania some fireworks and the Hatching Tide banner that you can put up in your house, which looks pretty cool. Either way, no mount this year, unlike the egg mount from last year, but the minigame was a fun distraction and the minion is always going to be something worthwhile to collect. Let me know what you think of this year's Hatching Tide event, and I'll see you all next time.